scene of the 2024 season, and all eyes are on Saquon Barkley. He'll be a focal point of his offense this week. It's the Eagles and the Steelers, and it's all up next on EA Sports. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They've certainly found their groove of late, winners of five in a row. And I think the sky's the limit for this team. They're playing the best football that they've played in a long time. Meanwhile, for the visiting Steelers, they come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. It's an old school battle in the Keystone State of Pennsylvania. The Eagles and the Steelers are underway. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. So the Steelers make their way out, led by their fourth-year quarterback, picked up in the offseason from the Chicago Bears, Justin Fields. It was fun getting ready for this game, wasn't it? Because normally we talk to the coaches and the players. I think you and I asked to talk to the trainer to see how his arm is going to be. A lot of ice after I mean, last week. <laughs> after last week's game, boy, what a performance that was. And you know what else is having fun? Receivers. Because they get a chance to do what they do best, which is go out and catch the ball. Yeah, and that last week effort, he threw for well over 400 yards. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. To throw his fields. That's caught downfield by Pickens. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. A short one there to Firemuth. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Two yards to go, second down. And they'll run for the first time with Najee Harris. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. First down, and they go back to Harris. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. On the right side, this is Austin with a catch. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Harris will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Again, it's Harris. And not a whole lot there as they'll get him down at about the two. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Here we go, son. They'll try and run with Harris. And this time he is in. Yes. Najee Harris with now 15 rushing touchdowns on the year. And the Steelers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Boswell good with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. 
I know teams always talk about having a 24-hour rule after a game. And eventually, we end up rolling our eyes. But it works both ways, right? 24 hours if you win, 24 if you lose. But, boy, it's a fun 24 when you win the game. And you win NFC <laughs> Offensive Player of the Week, isn't it? Absolutely. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Hurts rolling to his right. Now a diving effort right side. He's got it. And they take him to the ground quickly. But he's able to get it down to the 41-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Hurts sets up to throw it, escaping the pressure right. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's Hurts to throw. This will be caught at about the 6. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Dallas Goddard, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Eagles are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Just a four-play drive that time. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And no thought of bringing this one out. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll begin the drive at the 30. The Steelers' offense, led by their running back, headed out for the second possession. And as we check out the NFL leaders and rushing touchdowns coming into the weekend, see a familiar name there near the top of the leaderboard, currently second in that category. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Jordan Davis, just a monster on that play, stopping it from going anywhere. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. That's complete to the rookie from Michigan. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. These two teams all tied after one. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. From the 50, here's Fields going right back to Wilson. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up second down. They'll try the right side with Harris. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Here's Fields. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Steelers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Don't jump, ready? A play fake, now Fields to throw. Here's one deep for Pickens. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. George Pickens, 38 yards. And the Steelers have taken the lead. And he continues to be a focal point of this offense. That's now 10 touchdown catches for him on the year. Boswell for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. 
A drive that time of six plays. And it was finished off by a George Pickens touchdown grab. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42. Great return. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. 73, 73. Throwing his hurts. Rolling to his left. Open man has got it to tight end. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. They'll look to throw here on first down. Being chased out left. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. They'll set up a throw. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. They'll get this halfway home from the 8 to the 4 on a gain of 4. Second and goal from inside the 5. Barkley again, but he will go backwards as he stopped for a loss. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. They'll drop to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Joey Porter Jr., and the Steelers are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. The Steelers' offense and running back Najee Harris set to take over once more. And he's been one of the most consistent pieces of their offense all year long, no doubt. Shouldn't be much of a surprise then to see him among the league leaders in rushing here late in the season. Across the formation, he hits Austin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Now a first down carry for Harris. Fights through and now a crease. Pass the 20. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. 42 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. From the gun, here's Fields. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in the face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Najee Harris, his second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. And the Steelers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. And how nice is it to have a guy like Najee Harris in the backfield when you get down near the goal line? He can use his 230-plus pound frame to just get you those tough yards, and he finishes things off here with a touchdown run. Extra point put through by Boswell, and it's now 21-7. So that drive spanned five plays, and it was Najee Harris who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a good kick pays off as he's only able to get this out past the 10-yard line. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts ready to take over once more. 
And he's been a nightmare for defenses to try and contain all year long. NFL leader in rushing yards at the QB position here late in the season. Steps away. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. The Eagles hustling to the line, clock rolling. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. And his throw is incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And that last throw, not going to account for much of the grand scheme of things, but it does move him over 3,000 yards passing for the season. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Back to throw. On the move to his left. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. He'll look to throw out to his left. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Hertz will throw, rolling to his left. And he will get into the end zone, and the two-point conversion will cut this down to a six-point game. And with a successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine, on the defense, that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes, that is the unaccounted for player. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here with the visiting Steelers out in front as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. More from you and Charles in a bit. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here in the late window. We'll get started over at the Superdome in New Orleans, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Jaden Daniels, strong in the victory, as his guys run their record to 10 and 4 now with two weeks to go. From there, let's get over to Arizona to check on the Cardinals at home in Glendale. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting New England Patriots. Kyler Murray, two touchdown passes thus far. Lastly, let's get you to MetLife Stadium to see what's happening with the Giants at home in East Rutherford. And they couldn't get the job done as they fall to the visiting Baltimore Ravens. Lamar Jackson, strong in the victory as his guys run their record to 10 and 4 now with two weeks to go. We got a fine first half out of the former Alabama man, Najee Harris. He had a nose for the end zone as he wound up with two touchdowns on the ground in those first two quarters. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. All eyes on Dallas Goddard as the Eagles offense comes back out onto the field. You look at the numbers for him, and 1,000 yards, obviously, well within his sights, barring injury. He will get there. The question, will he get there in this game? 
Well, he would love to. Duh, right? Of course he would. <laughs> but, you know, watching him play this year, we often talk about defenses, you know, allocating extra resources to try and stop a guy of, of his ilk, right? But you know what else kicks in? His pride to say, okay, I don't care how many you throw in my direction, I'm still going to find a way to get open. I will use different moves. I will move against formation. I will come underneath routes and try and run through some people and kind of get natural picks in order to work his way open. He wants to get that thousand, and he doesn't want any less passes to come to his direction. They're going to look to throw. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. A big pickup there for the Eagles' first down, 18 yards. No contact. First down. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. No They'll look to throw here. Steps away. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now back to throw. On the move to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Alex Highsmith able to record his fifth sack of the season. Throwing on second and long. Hurts buying time to his left. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Back to throw here. Out to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will bring the deficit back down to three. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well, and kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And the returner down to a knee, and this will come out to the 30-yard line. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. Here we go. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would, and in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game? In this case, yeah, not, the case. not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Jalen Carter, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. Here's Cameron Johnston now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Hurts rolling to his left. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Ball on the 36 now. Here's a second and five. Hurts sets up to throw it. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. He'll drop to throw. He'll buy some time right. It's complete to Brown, right side. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 
out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Here's Hurts to throw. He dumps it off to Barkley. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. Down inside the 10. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Devontae Smith, 28 yards. And the Eagles have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. But quite the comeback here. They have erased that deficit, pushed themselves out in front now here in this fourth quarter. Well, this game's kind of felt like a horse race, hasn't it, partner? Because you had the other guys run out to their big lead, but then slowly and surely, they've been creeping up and closing that gap. Now they've stuck ahead in front here late in the game. The finish line's not far away. They need their defense to finish this thing off. That time, a six-play drive. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll wisely just take a knee here, and this ball will come out to the 30-yard line. So with the Steeler offense on their way out, let's take a look at the playoff picture in the AFC. Well, the current playoff picture, and you can see they are one of those three wild card teams, at least for the moment, but they have not clinched that spot, Charles. And look, their message has been clear. We're keeping our foot on the gas to the very end. And how about the theater and the drama that's involved, partner? The best part, we've got a front row seat to it all. And I think this is obviously the ultimate goal when they added a seventh seed to the playoffs back in 2020. More drama, more teams in it late in the season, and more important on games like this. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Here we go, A shotgun snap, Fields. He's got his tight end, Fryermuth, right side. And all the way down to the five. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They hand this off to Harris, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. They'll run again with Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris taking it in from seven yards away. And the Steelers answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Boswell good with the extra point, and that gives him a three-point lead. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense and their quarterback headed out for this. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Uh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better, 
two weeks in a row? You have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. Open man has got it, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Throwing his hurts. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Steps away. Touchdown! Devontae Smith with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Eagles are once again back in front. But plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Elliott on for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. Five plays there on that drive, and it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no thought of bringing this one out. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll begin the drive at the 30. The visitors' offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And as we take a look at some of the highlights, we see just how impactful he's been. He and his quarterback have such a great chemistry together, and it's been on full display throughout the contest. They'll come up first and 10 here. Here's Fields. That's going to be caught. It's Austin. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. They'll come up now on second down. Here we go. On the give, this is Harris. On any running play this card, they're always hoping it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now he's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. That's the fire move. And he is going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Here's Fields. That's pulled in by Wilson. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. A great play there. 51 yards. And the Steelers use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. Extra point put through by Boswell. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And not much doing on the return. Good coverage there. Going to stop him in his tracks at the front. This is first and ten. He'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. This one complete down the field to Goddard. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and 10 now. On the move to his left. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. He's back to throw. Steps away to his left. 
Throw left side complete. That's Smith. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Back to throw. Out to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Oh, the sneak. It's Hurts. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Charles, that drive was perfect, methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. Here's first and 10. Here we go. Now Fields. That's caught by Wilson. He's across midfield. Now they do indeed get the timeout, so all is not lost. They'll have a chance for one final heave to the end zone. Here we go. And one last throw here for Fields. This for all the marbles. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, they got the tip they were looking for, but couldn't secure it. And this one's over. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield. One final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Imagine how they had a chance on that final play. Getting into midfield gave them that opportunity. Hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So for Philadelphia, they continue to roll as the win gets them to 12-2 on the